beautiful day. Ah, it sure is. It's the kind of day that makes you glad to be healthy and alive. Ah. Hey, let's bat the old ball around. That's a great idea, Pally. <laughs> Catch a hit. I'll catch. Ready, buddy? Ready! Don't win out here, Snooky! Yes. Are you sure you're ready now, buddy? Hey, butter, butter, butter. shape. <laughs> uh, gotta keep my eyes peeled. <laughs> Ow. Are you sure you're all right? I mean, maybe you should sit down or something. Nonsense! I'm fine! <laughs> Are you afraid you won't be able to hit anymore like that? Is that it? <laughs> all right. Ready? Ready is all I can put! All right, that's enough. I think maybe we should take you to the vet and have you checked out. Oh, that's nonsense. I'm perfectly fine. My toaster is just like a dolphin. Yeah. Very similar to the shoes as they march past. No nose when it goes over the hill of Macandaro. Whoa, 
I'm sorry to laugh, pal, but this is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come on, get up, meat. <laughs> Come on, get up, meat. <laughs> meat? Oh, no. Buddy! Oh, jeepers, I gotta get him to a vet! But how? I hope the folks don't mind us borrowing the car, but this is an emergency, old friend. Okay, pal, here we go. <laughs> ah, this ain't so tough. Hey, pal, you look like you could use some air. Snookums, thanks for getting me to the vet. I could have been damaged for life. Oh, you sure are a good pal. But thanks to your quick thinking and caring attitude, we got prompt medical attention. And with a little patience and determination, we should be as right as rain in no time at all. Hey, look, a lucky penny. We sure could use some luck, huh, Snookums? It's a little dirty, but good luck is good luck, right, Snookums? Snookums? <gasps> Snookums! Hang on, buddy! I'll save you! Yeah! I'm stuck! I'll save you! Don't worry, I'm not going to get stuck! <laughs> Hi, kids. I'm Seymour Fortescue, the safety chinchilla. It's a known fact that 90% of all accidents happen in the hole. So, uh, just watch it. I better get the boss right away. 
attention. This has to be the work of that mad lumberjack, Dr. Paul Bunyan. If that's the case, there's only one person in Possum City capable enough to handle this menace to our fair city. Ah, uh, yes, Commissioner Express, you're no doubt referring to... Uh... That's right! I'm referring to none other than Pith Possum, Super Dynamic Possum of tomorrow. Ah, uh, yes, I'll get him on the Possum line, sir. <laughs> You pant my like a cup of coffee. You mean you ran all the way from the office with this cup of coffee? For me? No thanks, I don't drink coffee. Get out of the way of that thing? Not a chance, copy boy. That thing's gonna give me a top story. <laughs> this looks like a job for Death Possum Super Dynamic. Metropolitan tabloid is in there. We'll have to follow it. Destroy them! 
the rest of my robot army with a touch of this button. What? Hero. Ah, uh, still no words are walking pride. Star, the wrong riders had bushwhacked him and set him in a booby trap that meant certain death. But at the last minute, Texas faithful deputy, Chafe, decided not to fly to Hawaii after all and returned instead to rescue Tex Tinstar. <laughs> Chafe. Uh, where are you, Chief? Hey, this is no time for a siesta, partner. We gotta go get them fellows. Did you get rid of them bushwhackers? Well, now I... Hey, the town's been plum plundered! Oh, that's what I've been... He's right. The whole dead gum carn sarn blum ding place has been pert near cleaned out. What in blue blazes kind of lawman are you, anywho? Well, see, they... We gonna hide somewhere safe, leaving you in charge to face danger and protect our town, and you let them no-good scallywags run off and plumb everything inside. You don't deserve this badge, Ten Star. Yay! He don't deserve that head, neither. Tarnation, he don't deserve boots like that, neither. Or them pants! Well, may as well get this shirt. Obviously don't need them guns here. Hit the road, Ten Star. You're a disgrace. Grumble, mutter, gripe, scorn. Here's one. Wanted. Tall, strong, rugged hero type and smelly, unwashed sidekick for tour guides at Major Theme Park. We're not going to the theme park, Chief. Huh? We're going after those no-good doges with the stolen goods and justice is going to be done. I'm going to show those rats that Tex Ten Star ain't to be trifled with. If it's the last thing I ever do, and it could be, I'm going to get them no-good outlaws. Come on! Meanwhile, the wrong riders were having no luck getting the safe open. Rongo knew the only way to get into the safe was to know the combination. And the only way to know the combination was to know who knew the combination, which he did. No, he knew that Mr. Percy Lace Daisy, the examiner of the Swell Cargo Bank on his way to Bonehead, was the only person who knew the combination. <laughs> What you want to the girl, just leave me alone. 
We're not after the girl, Mr. Lace Daisy. We want the combination to the swell cargo safe. Um, what combination? Clem, jar Mr. Lace Daisy's memory. Let's get this Sam Hill out of here! And so they did, but no one knew the cruel trick that fate had in store. I'm awful sorry about that, mister. We just didn't know you were there. My neck! My neck! You'll be hearing from my lawyer! And so, with Tex and Chafe detained by the accident, the dastardly wrong riders rode off with Percy Lace Daisy and the safe. What's gonna happen, kids? Will the wrong riders get away? Will Tex be in traffic court? Tune in next week for the next nerve twisting adventure of Tex Tinstar, the best in the West!